Well, on this Foodie Friday, we're highlighting a good old cup of joe as we celebrate National Coffee Month. The stream's Jamaica Pond, who takes us behind the scenes of a popular roaster here in Chicago. It's National Coffee Month, so for this week's Foodie Friday, we're stopping by for a pick-me-up in a cup from Big Shoulders Coffee. They're serving up caffeinated classics all August long. And we actually got to stop in and talk with the owner, former fine dining chef Tim Coonan, about how they've spent the past decade perfecting the art of both roasting and hosting. I was doing this all out of my garage over a propane burner with a homemade, a jerry-rigged roasting pan made from a cast iron popcorn popper that my mom donated. So that's, that's, that's where it started. And this is where they are now. I met Tim and his wife and co-founder Patricia where the magic happens, at their warehouse in Pilsen. It's here that they're roasting around 2,000 pounds of coffee a day, which goes out to their five cafes around the city, local restaurants, and can be shipped anywhere around the country. So green coffee starts out looking something like this. My love affair with coffee and began really many, many years ago as a you know teenager. And carried on into when he was working as a chef. I would show up at Spiaggia, for instance, and I would roast coffee in a saute pan. He eventually left fine dining, but remained curious. It's about all, anything that's manufactured or that we eat that that is that we make i'd have all kinds of weird projects and going on in the kitchen i'd have fresh pasta hanging to dry i'd have you know pickling going on naturally the one project that stuck was roasted coffee tim started roasting from his garage then he'd deliver it by bicycle with my my two-year-old daughter in the back in a burley trailer Within six months, he had about 80 customers. It really grew into this or really organic sort of thing where it just consumed a great deal of time. And the coffee poured over from just being a side hustle. That was really the genesis of Big Shoulders Coffee. Ten years later, and there are five Big Shoulders Coffee locations sewn throughout the city. Coffee is this great catalyst for community. And the coffee houses. It's also, you know, one of those third places that creates um, a meeting, meeting spot for the community where the neighbors come to meet, um, friends and um, lovers come together and, 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 and really connect. And to maintain that community, they've set their primary focus on how their shops make people feel. Our North Star has always been hospitality. Leading with care for the customer and the beans, from the roaster all the way to your cup. We want people to walk away thinking that was a great experience but we don't want them to really be able to quite put their finger on what made it great. Uh, could I do a marshmallow latte, please? Jamaica Ponder, CBS News, Chicago.